I'm Graham Bromley, Project Coordinator at Marsh Street Arches and Gardens CIC. The Green Art Den is situated in the central ward of Barrow in Furness, uh, Cumbria. It's between the, uh, the main Marsh Street and the railway line. It really formed um, many years ago just out of a frustration. Uh, there was a lot of problems with the land itself and the general area. It was being misused, so uh, residents thought it could be transformed into a, a nice open space. Well, the plan for this would be, once we have uh, fully open to the public, it would be just like any other uh, public park. It'd be open in the morning, closed in the evening, uh, for anyone just to walk in off the street and just use uh, the facility, just enjoy the surroundings. At the same time, we've got a barbecue facility there where organisations, families, if they wanted, could boot the barbecue off us. But just really for people to just use the uh, space and get some enjoyment out of it. Get away from your troubles, come and sit in some nice surroundings. We're hoping um, to get our aiming to get uh, a long-term lease agreement for all the railway arches so we can develop them for the benefit of the community. Uh, and the same negotiation with Network Rail would be to uh, demolish the property uh, that is going to be our access into the Green Hard Den, the Dedalic property. Uh, it's been vacant and Dedalic for 30 years. So they're the two negotiations with um, Network Rail. I'm Jackie McQueen and I'm the Regional Development Officer for Cumbria for the Development Trust Association. Marsh Street's one of three transfers that are in the Advancing Assets programme. This is round four. The local authority, which is Barrow Borough Council, applied to be part of the programme were accepted. And Marsh Street is one of the pilot projects for that. This is actually, yeah, this one's fascinating because it's a, it's a two-strand transfer, essentially. On, on one side is the, a, a piece of derelict land, um, which actually provides access to the arches. Um, the land is owned by Barrow Council. The arches are owned by Network Rail. Um, so what we're looking to, to do in terms of the arches, um, because private sector transfers are, I think, uncommon to date, um, is to work particularly with the strengths of the asset transfer unit to help identify the owners, to progress the transfer, to support the organisation through lease negotiations um, and again to run the lease past the experts to make sure that actually what the community sector end up with is, is something that benefits them. I suppose the key things in the next few months would be that asset transfer, our links with the DTA, uh, accessing funding and different things for the, for the other side. Uh, and the main one would be just to, to firm that uh, sale of the property, 188 Marsh Street, up with Network Rail and the lease agreements for the uh, railway arches. Uh, we'll be putting a lot of effort into that now really, just to uh, get them completed or progressed as much as we can in, in, before the end of the year.